Hey guys, Jerry with Dragon Tamer Reptiles. So this is going to be update on clutch number 16. Um, they have shed out and everybody's doing healthy, everybody's doing fine and ended up with um, pretty much what we thought but now post uh, first shed it's just a better view for me to actually see. So we ended up with um, three het hypos and one mimosa so that's one champagne hypo so we were trying to prove my mail out and we did um, and we only got one visual and it definitely was the visual to get um, I think outdoor video will be better to show you guys a better view at it um, but it also did show me het hypo before they shed and het hypo after they shed and just wait until after they shed really gives you the full picture of what's going on. This is my first hypo animal, so it's shown me a lot just going through the process, but we ended up with 2.2 in the clutch. So two of these het hypos are females, and then one is male. And so this is a normal looking snake, but it carries the hypo gene, and it absolutely does because the female mother was, um, a visual hypo so I hope this is, this is coming out pretty good but this is first hypo and that one's probably the darkest and then this next one is probably the lightest and I know before I was wondering if it was hypo or not but now post first shed you can absolutely tell it is not hypo but just before with the shed on top of it um, just really gave it kind of a glazed look it was hard to tell but um, this is 100% het hypo as well and then the last het hypo is right here I hope this is coming out pretty good go so we got one male and two females of those then we got the the gym the animal I was trying to get I think outdoor photo or video we should give a better view but here is the champagne hypo and it's a male so this will replace the dad and a really really nice orange head um, lots of purples and blues and orange and yellow and pink coming in uh, obviously camera is hard to, to see it but it definitely is um, in person more visible um, really cool par paradox looking pattern there I know I was saying in the other video it kind of looked like a brainiac pattern um, I've never produced a paradox animal until this year and I ran it by a friend of mine and he says it, it absolutely absolutely does look paradox so that's very cool and exciting. Lots of more blues and purple coming in through the dorsal right there on the last 25% of the animal. I can't wait to see when he colors up because I know once he gets a couple hundred grams and after three or four sheds, he'll really start to pop more. And I have an adult mimosa now, female, and just you can really tell as an adult. So I know as a baby, um, it looks one way, but it definitely is going to color up some more. So really happy to hatch that gem. Um, really cool clutch. Another goal for us, for me. It's a really cool hatch again. Just getting very blessed with the outcomes and um, cool paradox as well. So there's going to be clutch number 16, update post for shed. Hit my mimosa, proved out my breeder male. Um, just overall, I had a really good time with this, learning about the hypo gene. Hit a paradox animal at it too. So just really happy with these guys so there we go guys um they are doing well so i will definitely be holding back this guy and um these three will be for sale so if you're interested in those let me know but um i really look forward to seeing this guy grow up and just seeing what he does and has the hypo colors i have a lot of other hypo animals but i'm interested to see how he colors up and just really loving the, and exploring the hypo gene so Guys, thanks for following, thanks for everything, and checking this guy out, really cool, white belly, 
white sides, champagne stuff is awesome. I only hit two champagne animals this year. This one and then the, the female champagne posset hypo. Um, but I'm very happy with them. Really cool. I look forward to hatching more stuff in the future. So, guys, that's going to be it. There's a mimosa. Go out on this guy. And uh, we will talk to you guys later. Bye.